So what do we mean by high availability? I know that sounds like an easy question, but I was hired by Intel one time to solve an availability solution for them, a problem that they had. And the problem was they had an application that was doing $2.8 billion per month and it had about a 60% availability. And so they were measuring downtime in the tens of thousands of dollars per second, and they were bleeding all over the place. So they asked me to come in and to help figure out what to do to make this an available solution. Almost immediately, the question came up, well, what do you want for availability? What do you want it to be? And you know what the answer is, 100%. Well, my reply was, I can't do that for you. We'll have to fire me and go hire somebody else. Because I don't think anybody can guarantee you 100%. And then, of course, we start that age old dickering. Well, what about 99.999% availability or five nines? What about this? What about that? So what I finally came down to after a, a few days of going back and forth like this, is I said, all right, you need to define to me what your measurement is. I can't do that for you. You need to tell me what your availability means or, or what that number is. And then you have to tell me what availability actually is. So in other words, if I have a one hour maintenance window for this application on Friday nights, does that count against my availability? And I know that everybody wants to be quickly answering, well, no, of course it doesn't. It doesn't really matter as long as we all agree. If I, if I am going to count a one hour maintenance every Friday against my availability, I can't get anywhere close to five nines, 99.999%, because that's a few minutes down every year. So we have to define what we mean by it. And then we, there are other questions that you need to define. For instance, if the server, the physical server is running, SQL server is running, the application is running and the data is avail available, but the router is down, or sorry, the, the firewall is down to the internet, is it available? Once again, I don't have an answer for you. And I don't think it really matters what the answer is, as long as we define it and capture that. Once we really get a real strict definition of availability, uh, that it might look something like this. At a certain number of minutes or hours per day, per year, whatever you want to measure it as, the application will be able to respond to a request within X number of seconds, and it will return correct data as measured by this standard. Great, now how do you go about measuring that? <clears throat> because I've seen so many SLAs that demand this high availability, but nobody ever measures it. And so you could demand anything you wanted from me, as long as you don't hold me to it, I'll, I'll agree to anything. You need to find a way to measure availability. Are there third-party agents that you can buy and install around the world? Where do you want to measure availability from? Is it only within your own, maybe it's only an internal application and you don't care about availability outside, but you've got to define a way to measure it that is repeatable and regular. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then, of course, document that. I know everybody gets sick of hearing me say document it, but that's the only way to do it. Let me tell you a quick story. When I worked for that, uh, for a company, Intel, I, might as well, I think I said the name already, so I might as well go ahead. I wasn't supposed to, but I'll go ahead and say it. When I worked for them, we were measuring availability for that application from, I believe it was nine different points around the globe. And one of those points was Taiwan. And at some point, the internet cable got torn up, got destroyed. And so that particular agent wasn't able to access my application. And so I reported that to my boss. I said, no worry, it's still available, but you know, it's just this one agent isn't measuring. Well, later that quarter, we went to look at my quarterly bonus and it didn't exist. And the reason was I failed to meet the availability requirements. And 
what it boiled down to was that agent wouldn't measure. And I said, hey, that's not my fault. Didn't matter. I hadn't done a good job of documenting the SLA. And so guess what? I didn't get that quarter. And guess how fun it is to go home and tell your wife that you're not going to get to on vacation this year because I didn't get that quarterly bonus. It's not fun. So protect yourself. Make sure that SLAs are documented. And then the most important question you need to ask for any availability solution is, what does it protect? And what doesn't it protect? Different solutions protect different things. Make sure that the solution you decide on protects the things that you really want to protect and not something else. I'll give you some great examples of that as we go.